Trump says he's not going to accept the, re uh, the results of the election. Uh, he says uh, there's not going to be a peaceful transfer of power. He's not going to promise it. Uh, you know, like, when we call you guys fascists, it's not in ad hoc, okay? Uh, when you call me a, a, you know, a lard ass piece of shit, you know, you're ad homing me, uh, someone with a clinical disorder, hypothyroidism, uh, that aside, you know, it, it, it's like, who cares? Um, when we say you're, you're fascists, we're not ad homing. <laughs> we're, we're being very literal, okay? Because when you support someone like Donald Trump, who is already hellbent on making this the biggest sham election in American history, that's what fascists do. They have sham elections. Once again, when we call you fascists, we are not being ad hom friendly there. We are being very clinical in our assessments because of what we have witnessed. Big difference when someone says, oh, you're, you, you're a commie. Big difference. That, that's called hyperbole because no Democrat is a communist. <laughs> it's like liberals believe in right-wing economics. They're, 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 they're pro-war. They're, they're on the right side of the political spectrum. They're not even centrist, in my opinion. They are center-right. Firmly center-right. So, no one's ad homing you when we call you fascists. You support a fascist, guess what? You're a fascist too by proxy. If you don't want to be a fascist too by proxy, don't support fascists. Uh, you'll slide into your cognitive dissonance uh, and where you can vacillate back and forth between democratic, anti-democratic, uh, I believe in democracy, I believe in authoritarianism. You know, there's this vacillating thing back and forth. It's like a sliding scale with Trump supporters where they think they can have it both ways. Uh, but you can't. Once you're in the authoritarianism pool, it's, uh, it's, it's hard to swim out of that one. So you have to understand that no one is making fun of you. No one is calling you names. We're being very clinical in our assessments when we call you fascists. Unlike when you call us communists, okay, and what other ad hom attacks you could conjure up, uh, particularly my weight problem. I mean, like, whatever. Ad hom, I get it. When you have no arguments, you ad hom because you suck that bad. Uh, I mean, you know, that that's omnipresent <laughs> for all of us to witness. Um, because most fascists don't believe any in anything except authoritarianism. Uh, unfettered capitalism, uh, Second Amendment, uh, maybe, uh, yeah, abortion. Three things. That's it. So they, if, if they've spent themselves on those conversations, you're not going to get anything but ad hom. That's it. But no one on this side of the spectrum, on the left side of the spectrum where I am, is ad homing you when we say you're a fascist. We're saying you're a fascist because you're literally a fascist. That's it. You support fascists, you get called a fascist. One plus one equals two. The sky is still blue, water is still wet, and you're still a fascist piece of shit.